All right, hand coloring black and whites or adding color to a, a black and white or desaturated image. Now there's several uh, techniques of achieving this effect and I'm going to show you some of the more simpler ones. Uh, one that I learned uh, right away was to simply just go into my layers palette and duplicate the current layer. So I'm just going to duplicate the layer. As you can see I have two layers and I'm going to desaturate the top layer. So I'm just going to go to image, adjustments, desaturate. Now I've got a top layer that's black and white or desaturated and a bottom layer that's color. And I'm simply going to just take my eraser tool and I'm just going to erase away the top layer. Now you can do this at several opacities, you know, if you want to go full effect. And that's one way of adding color to a desaturated image. Now, another way to do it, so just let me reopen this image is again is to just simply you know if you have your image just like this just again desaturate the image so shift control and we'll desaturate and then just select your history brush because your history brush is automatically set to the original image when it opens so selecting my history brush I can immediately just go in and start hand coloring the image just like that now, another way is to simply, uh, you know, actually I'll do this. Let me just change this to grayscale. Let's just say you start with a black and white image. You know, there's no color in it at all. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to save this and I'm going to reopen it. And as you can see, I've got a, a monochrome grayscale image here. There's no color into it. Now, how am I going to get color into this um, black and white image. Well the first thing I gotta do is as you can see here with my colors the uh, no matter what I choose it still chooses gray or there's no black or uh, sorry no color it's all black and grays and, and white so what I gotta do is I gotta go to image mode I gotta convert this back to RGB color I cannot add color to a black and white or grayscale image so first just go to image mode RGB color now I can add color to the image and what I usually do is just take my paintbrush and under the color mode, I just choose the color I want to add into my image. And let's just take a low opacity here. And there I go. I can just paint, paint away. And I can just choose whatever colors I wish. And this is if you, you know, you want to change, uh, change up the color or something or something, you can do it just like that. Now another thing you can do too, let me just make this back into grayscale, or sorry, RGB color. You can choose your lasso tool or any selection tool if you want to get into uh, you know finer detail. And you can simply just go into your hue saturation and click the colorize box. And you can go ahead and change colors that way. But again, I like just taking the good old color image and just desaturating it and then using my history brush and, and bringing back the color that way. So that's it. There you have it. That's how you can add color to uh, black and white images or any tinted images and bringing back the color into it. Let's just say, um, you know, you have a sepia image and you want the same thing. You want to bring back, uh, let me see here, you know, and you want to add color to it. Again, you can just take your paintbrush tool in color mode and just bring back your colors. There you have it. That's, uh, you know, quick and easy. Good stuff.